going on YouTube. How's everybody today? So there's this uh, there's this guy on YouTube. His name is The Needle Drop, and he's been dropping my name a lot. He's been talking about me in a couple videos, mentioning me. So I thought I'd plug him real quick, drop his name a couple times. So the Needle Drop, The Needle Drop, The Needle Drop. Uh, I'm not really all that familiar with the needle drop actually. Uh, judging from his name, I guess it's about like dropping needles into like maybe your veins to put drugs in it. Maybe it's a drug abuse channel, I don't know. You guys go check him out, tell me. I'm a little scared to go see him. He seems like a nutcase. Uh, so I got an album in the mail and I don't usually review an album the day I get it, but I'm on my, I think I'm on my fourth listen, third listen of the album. And I'm pretty familiar with the guy. Uh, Jatone is just an alias for Tim Hecker. I used to think Jatone was Tim Hecker's project with his friend Christian Vogel. I don't know where I read that, but I guess I'm wrong. So it's just him all by himself. Uh, the name of the album is Ultramarin. It was released in 2001 on Force Incorporated. And what this is, is like, you know, Tim Hecker's a Canadian artist. He's recorded in Montreal. Uh, and it's pretty much just his like what did the music he kind of does now he, he says it's like big epic kind of ambient music with big uh whooshes and swirls of music and sound and drone and reverb and it's very sparse and you know elegant sounding big waves and swaths of sound and this has a lot of elements of that except he throws on like this four quarter bass line this drum bass uh bass drum sorry and it's, I don't know, it's kind of detracting from the music because I really, really like enjoy, I actually like, I don't know, love his later stuff a lot because it kind of coats you and buries you in this kind of fuzzy white static noise kind of stuff on here. But here it's just kind of dancing around this bass line, but it still has the same kind of, you know, minimalistic, like ghostly melodies on here that he usually has. Some of the songs deal in dub and some of the songs are a little crunchy on uh, track 12. It actually gets quite heavy. That's the last song on here. The song, the album's 12 songs and 57 minutes long. So you get an hour of this kind of weird, glitchy IDM ambient experimental music. But yeah, it still has a lot of the sonic fuzz and like, you know, structured ambient stuff, dancing around these kind of distracting bass lines though. I, I'm, I'm happy in his future work under his, uh, his own stuff on his solo project self-titled releases that he just dropped the baseline completely and just like really really indulged himself in the big waves and of sound and you know white noise uh some funny names for this i found online was uh tectonic color plates or cathedral electronic music laptop music which seems fine i think it's just like his ambient music just with like a weird bass line going on in it and it dabbles a lot with uh rhythm and texture and melody but yeah, it's cool to get, I was really looking forward to getting this CD. I've heard about it like years and years ago, but it was like $57 online. I finally got an imported copy from the UK, like really cheap. So I was really happy to finally get my hands on this and listen to it. Not much in the way of cover art, just some power grids there. I think these are more like power lines or something. I'm not really sure. And I just, I don't know what that is kind of reflects the music because the music's very sparse and like you know of course electronic very minimal but yeah it's still like it's not a bad release though I, I, I do enjoy the stuff without the bass line more maybe this is oriented you might be more for a dance club a dance floor kind of occasion or something but it does have a lot of elements of his later work with the shuffling electronic like white noise kind of stuff yeah, it's a pretty varied album. Like, all the songs have a similar theme and they're all kind of like, you know, cold and sparse, but he does a good job of shaking it up and like switching it around, you know, changing gears. Uh, but it's very much so like a very slow, atmospheric album if you can ignore the bass lines going on. It's got, he's got good sound programming skills. Uh, online people were comparing this to a Kid 606 album called P.S. I Love You, or like a very uh, slowed down Mouse on Mars album, I guess. I don't, I don't have any of those albums, so I don't know if the context is correct, if those are good frames of reference. But yeah, pretty good album, though. I do enjoy it just because it has a lot of, you know, it shows Tim Acker's formative years, I guess. But yeah, Jaton, Ultramarin. 2001 Force Incorporated Needle Drop